Hello everyone. Today video we have a very interesting topic which is on how when an object is uploaded to S3 how one can the object to ensure there is no malware or no virus such that your whole infrastructure and subsequent to your organization's reputation is intact. Earlier what we used to do is we used to have like third party systems such as Sonar Cube or like CrowdStrike or uh, like there's this custom application such as Cloud Storage Security something I can provide a comparison in subsequent videos but today this is a new service out there the Guard Duty Protect Map production for S3. It's a recently launched service. It wasn't there available and this was a, probably a gap that AWS had, AWS had identified on how to cover cruising but now they have this offering. I didn't make a presentation because there's a lot of information. There's documentation available on uh, Guard Duty malware protection. So if you even Google it, you will find a lot of documentation and a few videos that AWS created. But instead of replicating the same content, I wanted to show you additional and more in-depth aspects so that what you, you just have this one video for doing the right configuration. And what I'll also do, I'll also not just show for the individual account, I'll show from an organization perspective as well. So please like, subscribe, share the channel. All this content is also going to be part of the blog. So you could always go and check the blog and all the policies that are there or any code. It is going to be uh, for the blog as well. So let's get started. <music> this is where you would need to log into the account. I have my organization account set up. This is the organization I have set up. And this is where I would come in. I would come to guard duty. And this is where instead of enabling all the features, or rather let me just enable all the features and show you, this is where we could come in for this particular region. And I just enable all the, and this is a region specific service. Guard duty is going to be region specific, wherein as you see, the definition is, is for inter-region threat protection for accounts and workloads. So earlier, the way we used to use guard duty used to be for any user or any principal that co is causing an issue or some anomaly behavior that we are noticing is when the, the notification or the, the issue used to be raised. And it's also called anomaly detection or threat detection as well. And guard duty could also be considered with intrusion detection or prevention. It is not the same, but it could be considered for the same. And this is where you see I was saying there's a lot of information out there if you come here you can read this for self. I don't want to duplicate content. And that is where I just thought to kind of let's get started and get straight down into it. So you come here, you enable guard duty and you see you have a 30 day free trial. I'll just choose the default setting. If you want, you could view the permission where it is saying that you need to have these EC2 instances, S3 permission. And uh, this is, you could just, uh, academic purposes, you could look into it and just go ahead and enable all, uh, guard duty. Let me enable it. This is my account. I do want to enable this account as well to be the delegated admin. So let me come back here. Now you see this, it says the, I have successfully enabled guard duty and uh, let me go ahead and see this setting. But now also what I want to do is I want to have the delegated administrator, something I'll just add here. And this account is what I want to make as the delegated admin. So I could always do this. And this is where this account is going to be the delegated admin over here. Now, if you want, you could do a few other things. You could come here. You could uh, have this option. Pardon my scrolling. But you could have this option that you could send this to event bridge because if there's an alert, you won't have an operation guy just sitting on the console and monitoring. You would want the alert to be him to be sent via email or some text message or probably via Slack or via Teams. Some notification is what you would want to do. And event bridge is the way to go about it. I can, I'll show you that configuration as well on how to go about using event bridge. If you want, you could always export the findings to S3 as well. Something I, I don't need for now because uh, we, we are just good with event bridge. You could also generate a sample findings. What if you generate sample findings, it's going to come and show you as part of this setup. I don't need to do it because I don't need to test this event bridge. I just want to show you the malware protection for S3 over here. And if you want, you could always suspend guard duty. You could come here and disable guard duty as well. Now that guard duty is enabled, let me just show you a few things on the left side, provide a little bit of a overview here. Now, this is a nice dashboard where one can come and see what exactly is the total findings, how many are high, resources with findings. You could do that. I don't have any data yet, but uh, let me just uh, show you another dashboard to show the findings. This is where you see, like this is another organization and that is where you see you could come in, you could see the finding, you could click here. This is the one high finding that is there. You could come here and you could 
see the option like say unprotected port or other options you would be able to see so this is a nice dashboard that is available you could also come here in the finding section that is what those screen it took me to and you could see the similar setting as part of the organization now it is saying that okay there's like uh, cloud trail logging disabled as well as there's an unusual DNS issue. These are some of the findings you can see. And if I come here as part of the usage, you could see this is the usage, the cost that is incurred. And this is apart from the billing, you could also come and see the usage aspect of CloudTrail. And this is some information you could see how it is being used. Like for malware protection for EC2, obviously I've not enabled it. So it's there's zero dollars, but like say VPC flow logs, because it does monitor VPC flow logs. CloudTrail is another data point that it uses for the anomaly detection. S3 logs is because recently it's enabled for this demo, but this is another thing. DNS logs is another aspect that it monitors. EC2 malware scans, obviously, as the name mentions, it's going to be for EC2, something that's not enabled. And this is where I'll just uh, like show the other ones for S3 protection. Now, what needs to be done for this S3 protection is this is specifically for the organization level. And if you see what I have is this big organization wherein this particular is the account where I'm at is the delegated admin. And what this will allow me to do is setting, enabling the S3 protection here itself in the delegated admin will also enable the S3 for the malware in the other accounts as well. So that is one advantage. The advantage of the, that is like, obviously I will have to go to the specific account and enable the other buckets for which I need to have it scanned. But this will allow for centralized monitoring. Say I need to have the guard duty finding sent to the centralized place. This is how I can go about doing it. There, likewise, I won't go into the details. I think the name implies it. EKS protection, runtime monitoring, malware protection. And this is the focus of S3. But drop in a comment if you want to get into details of the other ones. And there's something I can cover as part of next setup. Let us go ahead and... And work on as malware for S3. Now, before we go ahead and start doing this at the protected bucket, because if you see, this is verified. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me go to uh, an S3 bucket. And for the use case I'll mention, we have a lot of applicants who apply to our organization. And what we want to do in this case is we want to inspect the objects that they are uploading. In this case, it's going to be resume. And uh, But in case uh, there's uh, some mischievous candidate who uploads something, which is not the resume, but resume malware. That is what we want to ensure to ensure our security posture we ensure that the file is being scanned properly and let me just pick up that option here and this is where you see i have this option for the rod where i have this bucket which is public and there is a bunch of objects as part of this setup so let me choose this one but I just wanted to show you that if I go ahead with this setting as is without doing the prerequisite, I'm going to get an error. So let me show you what I mean. I could change this because it's a public one. I could just do it public and I could then, and this is based, called tag based access control. And this is where you see it's called tag based access control. You do want to have this tagging done and S3 as of S3 for malware, it is a 12 week month as of now AWS has this promotion because it's a new service to encourage more and more customers or users to go and use the service that they are offering, the free tier for the scanning. And you can check the details in the pricing, something I don't need to make it repetitive here, but this tagging is not part of the free tier. So that is something you would need. You wouldn't want to, there's no use of putting this without saying that, okay, if an object is uh, malware or if it is good, there's no point of doing that. You wouldn't know if the scan has happened. So that is where you would for sure need this. But this is where you see, I would need to have this permission here as part of the setup and I need to create the rule. So I come here and I, it has AWS is good enough to let me know what is the role. And this is where you see. So I'll just kind of copy this here. I'll copy this and now I'll come to my S3 setup because this is the one I was saying we have to do. So let me come here towards the stab and choose I am. Uh, Go to roles, create a new role. And this is where I could choose here. Let me see if they have the option of malware. Okay, they don't. So for now, just you could choose anyone because I don't think they have the, in this GUI is updated unless you want to use from the console. So you could just choose EC2 and we'll come back and edit this. So don't worry, this was just a, for creating the sample role. And this is where you could ignore this. This is where I could, I could give the name guard duty S3 and I'll change the name allows. And I'll go ahead and create rule. It's new. But, but I'll just type here malware. And this is where I could do this. And let me add a permission. I'm fine creating an inline because I know this is the only one I'll be using. And I can come here. I can choose this. And this is the bucket I would want to use as part of this setup. Now, the key ID, I'll just give it all keys. 
then this is required if the bucket has a, using a customer managed keys. And you could check our videos. I've created a lot of videos for that show that, okay, how you could use customer managed keys, the policies that go about it as part of the setting. And you shouldn't want to give a star. You only want to give the only specific permission. But just for the sake of this video, I'll give a star, but don't give it a star. Give it only the specific key that you are going to be using. But you see, this is the one. It has given you the policy that you could go ahead and create. Let me hit next and let me just give it the same role. And I'll put the word policy after this. It'll create the policy, but I need to still update the trust relationship. Now, let me see if this is providing an option. And, uh, but yeah, but let me now come here. This is where I need to edit the trust. And this is where I need to change it to this particular principle, which is malware protection plan. So malware protection can be able to assume the role and inspect the S3 object. So this is very important. Don't miss out this part. Click update policy. So now this policy is good. I have the role set up done. And if I come back here and if I refresh, I should be able to select the role malware and choose this. You should give tagging, but I'll skip it from now and you enable. One important thing to keep in mind, if I'm in Virginia region, you do want to ensure this particular bucket is also in Virginia region as well. Because if I choose a bucket, which is say in another region, Oregon, it will not allow it. It will throw you an error and the error is pretty cryptic. That is very, so just keep that in mind. For each specific region, you will have to enable guard duty separately for S3 here. So now this is where you see the, the bucket is the, the policy setup. It's a very simple setup. It doesn't take much and all the compute and all the resources are taken care by AWS at the back end. Nothing much for you to do here. But now how do we ensure this is working properly? So let me come here and uh, this is going to be for new objects that are uploaded. For the existing one, it won't work. So this is where I can come in here. I have, I had given in the bucket public. So let me just go and upload an object. So let me choose an object from my local system. So let me say add file 3 KB. So say if I use this PDF. Now this is a PDF and I upload it. If I upload and now if I come in here and I che check my PDF, let me try to sort it by the last modified. Let me just get the name of the object that I uploaded. Or let me take this detail tracking PDF, upload it here. And let me this time copy the name, upload it and close. So now how do we know if this, the scanning is working? This is where I come here, I choose this, and this is the object I'll be getting. And if I come here in the properties, and this is where in the tag section, because we enable tag, you will see this key. The scan status is no threats found. Now this is the happy path scenario where the file is good, it's not an issue. But how do we test that? Okay, malware, the S3 for malware is truly working, especially for a malware. So for that, what we could do is we could come here and uh, there is a like body, iCar, if you come here and search. And iCar is a like for antivirus, it, is, it has those file contents. And don't worry, it's not an antivirus. They just provide a sample file which that you can use to be detected for, by as a malware. So you can come here. This is where iCar you could choose. And now you could download. You just say, okay, accept everything. Download anti-malware. Test file. Okay, there you go. Let me download this com file and I open this folder and there I go. So now let me come back again to this S3 and uh, now let me delete this guy because obviously this is done. I don't need this anymore. Uh, go back. Okay, so that one is deleted. Now let's upload the malware simulate simulation file. So I come in here and choose this one. And this is the iCar file it shows. And now if I upload, let's see what is the behavior that happens. And I come back here in public. And there you go. You see, this is a validation object. You would see this data as well. Report if you want. But let me come back to public and remove this one and choose iCar. There you go. This is a malware simulated file and uh, there you go. So you see S3 uh, for malware has been able to detect that. Okay, this is a threat file, even though it's a simulated file. 
and it has mentioned this as the threat found. So you see how simple the setup is in how go about setting the malware. But now this is a threat. Now obviously we can't go to every object and check that okay if there's a malware, you need a dashboard to be able to see the findings. So how do we do that? And if you remember, what I had done was I had come here and you could come here as summary in the finding. There you go. You see there's one finding over here because of this malware. And you see this is a malicious file. You could just take you over here. You could choose this option and it will show you that, okay, this is a security risk file. It says it's not a virus, but something we need to kind of inspect. It was flagged and we can go about using this. So I hope this is helpful. And uh, in setting up S3, in the uh, the policy, everything, it, it's auto-generated. It, something, if you want, this malware is kind of straightforward. So the next step, what we'll do is how we can configure alerting, because obviously we do want to have this set up in place. And uh, just further, especially in our case, we want to have resumes. So that is how you go about setting it. So please like, subscribe, share the channel. And uh, let us know of any questions or comments or issues that you run into. Thanks and have a good day.